everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Camp with Coleman. It's your boy Josh, a.k.a. Coleman, and uh, we're, we're back. It's the uh, Vanquish Products Curry F9 Axle Build. Uh, this is for Project Hercules, the CKRC Hobbies Jeep Build, and I'm pretty stoked. I'm pretty excited. Uh, it's been fun so far, so let's keep it going. Let's see. Where did we leave off here? Um, we got the uh, center part of the pumpkin put together. This is the ring and pinion gear assembly right here, which is super, super sexy. Cannot get enough of that. Uh, I used a Holmes Hobbies Torque Master spool, a Axial, uh, what was that, 3813 HD ring and pinion gear. And um, yeah, let's just see how this goes. Next step on this here little sheet would be. Hmm, looks like we're going to go ahead and install the uh, axle tubes and then insert the ring of pinion. So we're going to have to install some more uh, set screws here too, it looks like. There's quite a bit of hardware to do with this. Slide all this stuff out here. More hardware, which is all good. Boom, all right, throw that stuff aside, and let's see, where do we leave off here? So let's get these on the proper sides, looks like, boom, that'll go like that, this will go like this, let's make sure this isn't going to fall apart, those will slide right in there like that it looks like, and there's something stopping this one already, I'm assuming... Supposed to do that. Huh. Very interesting. There it goes. That's a tight fit. I, I was concerned because it wasn't going all the way. It was only going right there, but that looks like that's just that snug of a fit. All right. So those will wind up going like that, and this. We'll turn around and slip right down inside like that. Then that will be the start of our axle housing. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Alright, so let's go ahead and take this back apart real quick and put it together properly. Make sure we leave these on each side so I know what goes where. Set this right here. And let's see. Um, I've got a whole bunch of these little guys that are going to have to go into that. So. What are we going to do here? Let's go ahead and put the grub screws, or the set screws in on this. Alright. So many screws. I don't know where to start. Just put Loctite on all these in advance so I don't have to worry about it. Oh. Alright, so on these there will be three on top which means I have them on the wrong side. That will go like that. This will go like this. There will be one here. Boom. There will be one here. Boom. Let's grab another one. Do another one back here. Oh, alright, now that's the three that it says to put right there. Let's do the same thing now on the other side. On this side it is the same thing. One here. Oh, 
on here. And looks like one on the back side there. This has a little more Loctite. Now when you guys are going to put these together, make sure you pay attention on the top right here. This is actually cut off a little bit. The printing on this is cut off a little bit. So on one of them you couldn't even see those two screws up there so it looks like they only want you to put one screw in. Pay attention to that. Just a little heads up to people. Alright, so now we've got that like so. We can take these, slide them in place. And we can take this bad boy here and lubricate it. I use Cow RC's Utter Butter. This is worth its weight in gold. Love this stuff. I just get a uh, flathead screwdriver, like so. See, I've used it plenty. And you can see I've used this plenty. And uh, goop it on there. The good old green stuff. Yeah. You know, when I say goop it on there, I don't mean, you know, be smart about it. Uh, me, personally, I like to get it in the gears at first. Um, not stupid heavy, but definitely get it, you know, worked into the gears. Uh, and then I just kind of rotate it around. The reason I do that is it keeps my gears from rusting up. Um, most of it gets pushed aside anyways as soon as it goes through the gears. There's plenty of room for it to uh, move around, work itself into place. So I do that first. Then I get some down in the bottom so it gets into that pinion gear. So the pinion gear is definitely tucked down in there. Work it in real good. And let's go ahead and put it together. It'll slide right into place if I do it right. This it should slide right into place if I do it right. Oh yeah. Let's hold me back here. There we go. Make sure it's lined up perfect. And boom. Now, let's go ahead and set that aside there. Get that utter butter on me. Let's go ahead and start putting all these screws away. Now we'll go ahead and start installing all these screws that lock this pumpkin into place. It's going to take a little bit, so I'll be back with you. Alright, so I just finished installing the ring and pinion gear here into the uh, axle housing. It is definitely in there at this point. Very nice. I have not locked these in just yet. We're getting ready to do that next. Um, a major part of doing that is going to be the set screws. So you're going to want to line these up properly. Then we're going to want to get these set screws here. Make sure they're about even. And lock that into place. Don't overdo it and strip it out. That's not what you would want to do right now. Alright, at that point, those are locked into place. And now you guys can see, this is how far we made it. You can see it's a little greasy there for my fingers, but it's okay. We'll wipe it all down. Yeah, alright. So now, actually we'll go ahead and wipe it down now. Just to keep from getting grease all over everything else. Now, let's go into the next part, which would be this four link truss. Be careful with this because it's actually sharp. 
believe it or not, the tip of that is like knife sharp, man. So be careful with that there. And then, Four-link truss has nice fitment. It's not as good as the rest of the axle, though. I'm going to go ahead and admit that right off the bat. And you can see why. Now, it's not cinched in yet, so I'll give them that. But you can see the gap there. All the way around, there's a slight gap. Now, I don't know if they did that on purpose, but it just seems like, a, in comparison to how closely fit everything else is, that they're... Not putting her all into that, but then I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's still a really nice, really nice job on that. So that being said, like usual, let's go ahead and put Loctite on our screws. Center one first. Same routine, I always go backwards, get it to pop, and I'll go ahead and tighten it down. I just realized something. Those aren't in all the way. I do not have those axle tubes pressed in all the way. That is an issue. So, let's loosen those back up. Let's make sure those are all the way in. Definitely, definitely want those all the way. Let's see where I was close, but I wasn't all the way. 